So as you guys know, the samba has uh, these little paddles here that which are called semaphores. What happens is that when you put in the turn signal in here, boom, this thing pops up like that. Turn signal, there's one on the other side, and there's this one here. Okay, the problem is, of course, that these are non-blinking, and so in the modern world, you need blinking lights because there's a lot of people not paying attention to the road. So I always wanted to put blinking lights, and I did that a few days ago, except these were going up and down. And what? So what I've done is I separated the circuit. I've actually put the uh, flasher after. Uh, now, these are constant, but my lights are blinking. Blinking headlights, turn signals. Actually, uh, in the back also here. Look at that. So brake lights work, or brake light. Uh, turn signals, running lights. I'm saying I'm pretty good shape in the light department because we're running out of time. Uh, come here in a couple days, we're gonna be on our way to buses by the bridge. This is gonna be my answer to the heater issue. If you're not familiar with my heater side, I watched a couple of my videos uh, a few days ago. Now I'm just gonna make it stand alone, so that, which means I have to take this apart and make sure that it runs on the DC power that the Samba can make. So I took the heater off my car and I figured out what was the funky smell. It was the epoxy that I'd used to attach this heater element to the back of this uh, fan. The epoxy doesn't smell good when you're burning it, turns out. So I had to change the uh, AC motor to a DC motor because the Samba doesn't have AC. All right, so we're getting tight in our timeline, so we're gonna have to redraw that part that I did on my e-machine software and then do it in SolidWorks so that we can order from a local shop here. Pretty much in line with where the bolt is, so that's pretty substantial. Those are big motors. Bug, here's the Baja. Right, time to test this uh, makeshift portable heater for my bus here. All right, so what we got here is just a cheap $30 heater from Amazon. Um, I took the AC motor off, installed a DC computer fan in here, uh, made another cord, right, because now I'm running not only the high voltage to run the heating element, but I'm also have to run a 12 volt to run that computer fan. Uh, also, I put a mini tactor inside so that this thing will not run unless there's 12 volts. So it means you cannot run this heating element without any airflow. So if the 12 volt fan is not going, this will not energize just so that, you know, minimize the chance of this thing just turning on and melting, right? So, let's see if it works out. So there's 12 volts. Oh, the light doesn't turn on. Oh well. I was hoping this light was gonna turn on. It would let me know when the thing was on, but I guess the heat is enough to tell me if it's on or not. Woo, that's nice heat. Very nice. We are not going to freeze this weekend. 14 amps, that's how much this thing is pulling right now. Let's do the math here. 14 times 111, which is the nominal. Yeah, 1500 amps. I mean, 1500 watts. Heater is installed in the Samba. I uh, cleaned up the wheels. It's 
straighten out the one axle that keeps popping back out a quarter inch. So the only thing left in the list is to finish connecting the J1772 charging port. And I gotta level it because I think it's half an inch too low in the back. So I gotta lift it up and um, I have adjustable plates. Right, now that all the serious work is done, we got to do the real work. Experiment uh, one, take one. Uh, <laughs> 8,000 RPM on a 3D printed uh, blade. You need a better angle on it's this. It's pushing there, like, Go rev it a little there, so. Pin it! <laughs> <laughs> Because isn't the, the fan on the inside Yeah, they're, they're pulling having in? a suck -a -thon. Yeah. They're each sucking from the center out. Yeah. The other it way creates way. a so, so, yeah, so vacuumular plane. <laughs> vacuumular. <laughs> That's not a word. That is just... <laughs> Honey, come look at this. <laughs> I or, covered my rusty shaft. Yeah. <laughs> right? I was yes. just trying to cover a rusty shaft. If, yes. people, if people ask it, you can tell them, like, so this one is, put, is moving the wheels that way. This is pushing yeah. air that way. No, no. So what you tell people is that the bottom one is pushing the car forward, and the other one is a generator. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Bro? <laughs> The generator on the wheels. So when we drive, the wind comes down here, and of course sucks in. That spins the top motor, which creates electricity, which drives the bottom motor. There you go. Perpetual bug. Yeah, I mean, as long as the hill is, it will go. <laughs> oh, yeah, now it looks quality. There we go. Look at that, it's raining. It's raining again. So with one day to go before we leave to buses by the bridge, transmission's not here yet, so the double cab is not ready to go. And I didn't get my tires on time, so I can't leave either. So I guess we're gonna have to be late one day. It's raining. It's raining. Let's go get an update on the pen scour. So we are at SRD and these guys are manufacturing this exo cage for the pin scour. I'm gonna go on the entire car on the outside just to make it seem more robust, more military. Another quick update, the uh, electric skateboard. I know I said it was gonna be done like in a month, but there's just so many projects. Uh, anyways, what have we done to this? Here are the batteries. Now they're all put together. It's gonna be five cells because they're too big and put more would actually run better, but it's just That's the max weight and size that we want to put on here. So The hard part then the one that's taking a long time is doing the battery box um, We have to follow this thing in here like the curve of the board and that's what we're doing over here And then connect everything everything just runs fine I'll run through that and show you guys when I finally make the video, but here's the board. Uh, it's going to be running any day, as soon as we get busy with it. So you have, have more, more power, power and but... more effective power, plus you have a broader power band. Yeah. So it's fun because we both have advantages. Right. Like I've got a weight advantage. Right. It's going to be it. close. <laughs> <laughs> You've got every other advantage goes to you, but I got a weight advantage. And uh, I lost 30 pounds. Uh, oh, <laughs> good. I thought you were a little skinnier this round. Dude, if I win by this much, I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, well, well, post race analysis. I don't think either of us expected those results. But, but still, uh, you're, it's it's quick. It's very quick. No, it's also, you guys I, make I, it, yeah, I honestly but. totally expected to lose. And by no means, uh, both of these cars are super fun.